Want to make simple animated intros for your videos? It's not hard at all. Stay tuned. So you need two things to pull this off. You need your video editing software and you can use iMovie, Windows Movie Maker, Camtasia, it doesn't matter, whatever you have. As long as you can import a clip and add text on top of it, which you can in most video editing software, you're good to go. The second thing you're gonna need is some type of animation software. Now, I use Powtoon, but I'm gonna be very honest with you guys, shop around. As much as I love Powtoon, their prices are not cheap. And if you're not making a lot of money online, $19 a month is still a lot. Now, let me give you guys a little tip. I did not pay $57 or $127 a month for their business plan. I have their premium business membership right now. And let me tell you what happened. Last year, I signed up for their free version just to test it out. And after about a week or so, I got this pop-up and it offered me $19 a month or $228 a year for their premium plan. So I signed up. So last year I paid $19 a month for their premium plan and I just renewed and it's still the same price. So what I would recommend is signing up for their free plan and then wait for them to offer you an upgrade because it may actually even be cheaper than $19 a month now for their premium. I don't know. The reason I am focusing on the premium is that you need either the premium, which is the business or the pro plan to download the clip because you're going to need to upload this to or import this into your video software. The free version does not allow you to download the clip to your computer and that's the issue. But if this is too pricey for you, also check out Animoto. They have a 14 day free trial and they have cheaper monthly plans and you can download the files. Now I've only used Powtoon so I welcome people to offer recommendations if you know of animation software that will allow you to download the file so you can import it into your video creation software. As much as I love Powtoon and as much as I would love to get an affiliate commission from you guys, I'm going to be honest, it's expensive for a lot of people and I can totally understand if you can't afford this right now. So shop around. Okay, enough of my rambling. Let's get to it. All right, so I'm in Powtoon and I've created a blank project. So we're only going to use two slides for this video intro. We're just going to have a text intro. And then after that, we're going to have a placeholder for the title of the video, kind of like you saw in the intro of this video. So we can get rid of this third slide here. We're going to click it and click the minus sign and it's gone. So let's start with our first slide. We're just going to have some animated text and it's going to start about a half second in. So we're going to just put the playhead right there. And I'm going to come over here to text effects and click the hand and we're going to double click to edit the text and we're just going to say welcome YouTube and we can change the font let's use Lovello black change the size and click apply so now we can move this where we want it and we can also change the background color now there's no background colors in this style, but we can change styles. Let's click this style. As you can see, it says premium. So you won't have access to all of these styles if you're not a premium member. So let's just go through until we find one. Here's one that has colored backgrounds. So let's just click the purple one. Now we're going to decide how long we want this title to stay on the screen. I think four seconds is a little long. Let's click the minus sign to delete a second. So let's just play what we have so far. So we're a little off center here. Let's just move this over. Now let's add a transition. So let's go over to transitions. We're going to choose the zoom out down. And as you can see, it puts the transition underneath the slide. So now let's work on the second slide. This is going to be the placeholder for the title of your video. Now you're not going to add the title here because this is a template for your intros. You're going to add the title in your editing software. So let's go up to image and I've already uploaded an image we're going to use. It's a woman holding an iPad. So we're going to click that and then click insert image. And let's just drag the handles a bit. Let's make this bigger. So the title's nice and big, and now we can just kind of move this around so it's 
pretty centered. And then we need to decide how this is going to enter the animation. So let's slide the timeline a bit over here to the right so we can give time for the animation. We're going to click this animation icon right here and choose, let's go down. So the image is going to come down into the presentation. And then we need to decide how long this is going to be up. So let's just do, let's just say five seconds. And then the exit animation doesn't really matter because this is the end. So we'll just say no effect. So let's play what we have so far. And so then your title is gonna pop up here. Now we need some music. So let's go up to sound. We're gonna import file. And I use Incompetech for free, royalty free music. So I downloaded this MP3 called Electro Cabello. So we're just gonna use that and click apply. So let's come over here to the left and play what we've got. So then you can fade the music out in your editing software. I think it's actually better to do it there. Now you notice the iPad didn't fall down. The reason is the transition animation took away from that. So we're just gonna take this animation off and say no effect and then slide this all the way over. Let's play it again. So if you have a logo or something, you can actually upload an image and put your logo here if you wanna brand the intro a little bit better. And also I wanna point out there are animated characters and lots of different props and icons that you can use over here on the right to make your intro even more fun if you want. But I just wanted to keep this really simple just so you can see what is possible. So now we're gonna come up here to export. And as you can see, there are options available only for premium members, for example, removing the Powtoon logo, downloading and all that. So I'm gonna download as an MP4 and then click next. And then I'm gonna choose full HD 1080p and then click next. And so I fill all this out and then Powtoon is going to let me download the file and I'll be able to import it into my video software. So now I'm gonna open up Camtasia and you're gonna see me do that step. Okay, so here we are inside Camtasia 8 and we're just gonna import the video that I just downloaded from Powtoon. So we're gonna go up here to import media and here it is right here. So now we simply just drag this to our timeline. Now, here's the part where it's gonna be a little different depending on the software you use, but the bottom line is you import the clip and then drag it into your timeline. And that's pretty much the same for most video software. Now, if you wanna add a fade to the end of the video, you're just gonna highlight the video and I'm gonna click audio, I'm gonna scroll down and click fade out. And then I can adjust the fade by dragging this slider. I can move it up, down, left, right. So now let's play it and see what we got. And notice the music faded out. Now it was a little jerky and that's just because we're in preview mode. It's not going to be jerky when I export it. So now I need to add a title for the video on the iPad. So let's scrub by dragging our playhead to the part where the iPad comes into the screen. So I can use my arrow keys to inch on over. So right about there, we're gonna add a call out. And for your software, it might be called text or whatever. You're gonna look for the insert text feature on whatever software you use. So I'm gonna click the text here and this is where I type. So this is my intro and I can make the text bigger if I want. Let's actually make it a little bit bigger than that. And we also wanna make sure that the text lines up with the rest of the video by dragging the end of it there. So now let's play it and see what we got. Okay, so the intro came in a little bit too early. So we're gonna just come over here and drag it a little bit to the left and see what it looks like now.
Now I know this was a very, very simple, simple, simple introduction, but I just wanted you to see what is possible. And obviously if you have different software, then your steps are gonna be a little different. But the idea is you need animation software and you're gonna download the animated clip to your computer. And then you're going to upload that or import it into your video editing software and then add the text as your final step. And so there's your intro. Hope you guys have fun. Bye.